Hello, welcome to the second week of the Parks Alliance read-alongs. Today's guest is Pennsylvania State Representative Elizabeth Fiedler, who represents the 184th District in South Philadelphia. While we're waiting for the representative to join us, I wanted to let you know about a few of the things that, that we're doing. And why well, the easiest way that I find to show that would be to go to our Instagram account. So we're at Philip Arts Alliance on Instagram, and I'm going to show you right here how you can follow us on Instagram and also on Twitter. We've prepared some really nice resources that we are going to bring up now in just a second on our Instagram page. And here we go. We're going to go to, this is a really fun item here that I'm going to show you. I'm going to share our Instagram screen with you here. And there we go. And I'm going to show you a few of the exciting posts that we put up here. So one of the things we have is we did a nature walk bingo. When you're out in our parks, keeping safe distance, um, some of the things that you can see, and you can also see maybe from your, your window at home or from uh, from around your, your area there. And for instance, you see looking for a bike rider and things here. We have on our website a way that you can print out a PDF of this nature walk bingo uh, if you have a printer. And if not, you can just sort of do it online here. And uh, you, if you go to our Instagram account, to our profile bio, and I'll show you how that works. If you go here on our Philadelphia Parks Alliance Instagram, if you click on this link here, it will take us to, to sort of a mini website that shows you all of these links where you can get to our YouTube channel. You can go to Facebook. And I also wanna welcome anyone joining us from YouTube. I don't know if we have a YouTube audience yet today, but what we have is, um, uh, we are broadcasting now to YouTube as well as to Facebook. So we're pretty excited by, by, by doing that. So you can always go back to all of these broadcasts on Facebook and you can share them again. You can watch them again. Um, and that's fantastic. But what you can also do is go to our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and search for Philadelphia Parks Alliance and we'll pop right up. You'll see our logo there. And then you'll be able to go and um, on that YouTube channel, you'll be able to go and watch our all of our videos. We have a YouTube playlist, like a folder, with all of these videos that we've done so far. And we have those uh, organized in the Parks Alliance read-along folder. And you can go back and see all of our great, great authors from last week who read. And I'm going to show you something else on Instagram here. Um, one of the activities we did, too, is we have a nature texture rubbing, where you can take a piece of paper and find a leaf or a coin or something. And it's a great, great thing to do at home. We have step-by-step -step instructions that show you how to do this. It's also on our Twitter and it's also on our Facebook. And what we can also do is we're really in this time, we know that we want to, everyone understands how important our parks and recreation centers are. We know how important our recreation centers are because we actually can't go to our recreation centers right now because they're closed for obvious reasons. Um, but we need to make sure that city council knows how important our parks and our rec centers are to you. And one of the ways we'd like you to be able to do this is to go to our Instagram or our Facebook or our Twitter, find our shield here. Now, if you're an Instagram, you can share it to your story and then edit it. There's a little paper airplane button there that allows you to do that. We also, if you have a printer at home, we also have a link in our bio there, which will take you to our website where you can print out our shield and then fill it out with the, the park that you'd like to go to the most or the rec center you like to go to and what you like to do there. Like for me, I live in South Philadelphia. I live uh, right, right near Oregon Avenue. So I'm pretty close to the uh, FDR park, uh, to the lakes. So I like to go down to the lakes and ride my bike. So that's one thing I really like to do in, in Philadelphia. There are a lot of other things I like to do, but that's one of my favorite that's in, in South Philadelphia. So while you're here, if you're joining the broadcast, please let us know where you are watching the broadcast. We really want to know what neighborhood you're in. And uh, right here. And hello, Lula. How are you? Good. How are you? Hi, Steve. How are you doing? Doing well. Thank you. Hey, all right, all right, we're getting started. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our second week of our read along. We have a special guest today, our uh, state representative, Elizabeth Figler. We're super excited. We're going to bring her on in a little bit. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about what we have going on before we bring, we bring her on. Um, 
just so you are aware, at the end of this uh, uh, stream, we'll be sharing with you about an opportunity for you to sign a petition. We have um, a petition on our website, just kind of supporting more funding for parks and recreation program. It's a link that takes about maybe less than a minute um, to kind of read through and sign the petition. So I think we're able to put the link in, in the um, comment section, right, Steve? Absolutely, absolutely. We certainly do that. In fact, I'll uh, I'll post that in right now. We just want to go to our website, which is philiparks.org. All right, let me just make sure we are, okay, so we have, and all right. So welcome back. This is our second week of Read Along. This week is a bit special. We have our state representative, uh, representative um, Elizabeth Fiedler with us. I'm gonna bring her on in about a second. We're gonna chit chat and she's gonna read one of her favorite childhood books. So we're super excited. All right, hello, welcome. Hi. Hi, thank you for having me. Of course, thanks for joining us. How are you? I'm good, doing really well. Well, we're super excited to have you. And this is Steve, our producer. <laughs> and I'm Lula, the first time the campaign director for Philadelphia Parks Alliance. Um, people are still joining us. So how about we get to know you a little bit? Just tell us about yourself, uh, where you're currently working on, how you have been spending your quarantine days. Um, and then we get started with the reading. Sure, so thank you. Um, First, I want to just give a special shout out to all those people, the first responders, the nurses, the doctors, um, everyone working in a pharmacy or a grocery store, uh, the people who pick up our trash and our recycling, everybody who's out there working, these people who are essential workers, right? Who keep us safe and fed and healthy. Um, just a shout out to them uh, to thank them for all the work that they are doing. Uh, as you said, I'm State Representative Elizabeth Fiedler. I represent uh, South Philadelphia, very proud to represent District 184 down here. That's everything east of Broad Street and south of Wharton, so a big chunk of South Philly. Uh, I am also the mom of two pretty little kids. I was gonna say very, uh, they are two and five. Uh, so I have been spending a great deal of time uh, with the two of them. I'm really, really lucky that I am able to work uh work from home so much of my job as a state representative now can just be done from here so i can actually vote electronically we're in session today in the state house but i can do that from my house which is great because that allows me to follow the order from the governor and the feds uh, which is to stay home as much as possible i do research i spend my days on video conferences other conference calls with um with constituents talking to them about what they're struggling with because of the health mm -hmm. crisis uh, related to paying their rent or trying to get food. A lot of challenges for people in our district who are on lower, uh, who are lower income, a lot of senior citizens. So really helping them to connect with resources um, and working with our schools. That was the last thing. Uh, we have a lot of really fantastic public schools in my district and have been uh, continuing our work with them to support the great work that they're doing. Obviously, the teachers and the nurses and guidance counselors can't be in the physical school building with their students, um, but really do care a great deal about them and are reaching out to support the families and their students educationally, but also to make sure they have good nutrition. So we've been working hard and staying in touch with them. Um, and I was so excited to be asked to do this um, because, as I said, I have a two and five year old and one of the things that we have increased, which we were already doing, but we're doing even more is reading together, which is something that I really, I, I really enjoy a great deal. Well, we're well, so we're so happy. happy. Um, I think at this time with parents being at home with their kids, I think it's very um, needed to just kind of like an outside person read to their children because you're in front of the computer a lot, you're in front of your phone. So it's just nice to take a break, and especially here for our state representative. So we're super excited to have you. And what book will you be reading um, today? I will be reading. I can't find the fancy cover on the outside. That's lost <laughs> to the fancy <laughs> They all saw a cat. Oh, okay. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Great. And let me just a few a few housekeeping things here. If you're watching, please please share. Please help put the. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Well, please, if you're everyone watching, please, please share this so all of your your friends and family can join. There's a share button at the bottom of the 
Facebook broadcast or also below the, the video window in YouTube. Uh, now, it's great to have people join us live. We want to join us live. We want to hear what neighborhood you're in right now, what you're watching from. If you're in Philadelphia or if you're outside of Philadelphia, please let us know what town or city you're watching from. And uh, also, this video, well, it's great to have you live. It will be here in the future. So if you're well, catching the end of the video later on, you can share this. Other people can come back and watch this. We had almost 4,000 views of our first four videos that we did last week, and they're still they're still growing. So we're really excited. We have a lot, a lot of people watching live, but most people are watching the recording. So remember that there's always time to share this. Share it and let your network know about our Parks Alliance read-along. So, uh, and also, uh, Representative Fee, if you could hang around after we go after we go off off camera at the end for just a minute, so we can thank you, that'd be great. Well, uh, that's it. Any, anything else, Lula? We're ready to go. No, we're ready to go. So we'll take great. ourselves off and we'll let you take over. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> all right. Let's get set up here. They all saw a cat by Brendan Wenzel. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the child saw a cat. And the dog saw a cat. And the fox saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. <gasps> And the fish saw a cat. And the mouse saw a cat. Goodness. That one's always a little scary for my kids. <laughs> and the bee saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat might be my favorite page. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the bird saw a cat. Uh-oh. And the flea saw a cat. Can you see the flea on the cat? The flea. And the snake saw a cat. And the skunk saw a cat. And the worm saw a cat. And the bat saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. Get close for you on the worm one. That's a really good one. Yes, they all saw a cat. That's a pretty great drawing. A child and a dog, and a fox and a fish, and a mouse and a bee, and a bird and a flea, and a snake and a skunk, and a worm and a bat. The cat knew them all, and they all knew the cat. And the cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws, then it came to the water. 
and imagine what it saw. What did it see? It saw a cat as well. And there you go. That's one of my favorite. Um, that's a book I really love because you get to see all the different perspectives uh, that the animals have and looking at the same thing and how they all see things differently. Thank you so much for taking time to read that book for us. Is that like one of your uh, children's favorite books? You mentioned that earlier. Yeah, it's one of their favorites. I think the message and the words are good, but the pictures are also really beautiful. So they are. On all the notes. Yes. So where can people find more about you, learn more about you, and um, just the work that you're doing? You're doing amazing work for education, employment. You talked about housing rights. Um, you're an advocate for so many different things. If you, people want to learn more about your work, where can they find you and how can they contact you? Sure. So thank you for asking. So um, on the legislative side, Rep Fiedler, so R-E-P underscore Fiedler, F-I-E-D-L-E-R, see it on the bottom. Um, that is my, uh, that's my handle on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram for my sort of official side. So if there are constituents who have questions about anything related to employment, food scarcity, um, anything about schools, anything related kind of to daily life that might be a state, state matter, um, they can call. They can contact me there, or call the legislative office, uh, which is 215-271-9190. We're not in the office, but we do. Uh, we check the voicemail and answer the phones. Okay. And then, if people are interested in things on sort of the other side, the campaign side uh, is um, Fiedler, which is my last name, F I E D L E R, the number four, Philly, P H I L L Y, and that's my handle on all of the all the social medias that I've got, which is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And uh, people can uh, comment or message me directly and uh, let me know how I can help. Yes, and also if they go to your website, they will find all your social media handles as well yeah. and also your email, so you can also do that. And we'll share the website in our comment section once the okay. streaming is over so you're able to connect with Representative Fiedler. So okay. again, thank you so much for taking the time to read with us and share and connect with our audience. I hope you are staying safe and healthy as you continue to serve your, your district and really the people of Philadelphia. Thank you so much. Thank, you. thank you everyone for trying, uh, watching. Um, even though the session, I mean, the streaming is ending, this video will be live. Please share, um, still tag people and come back and watch it if you missed the beginning. Yeah, please do. Uh, please do come back. And uh, we're, we're doing this again tomorrow and, and also Wednesday and Thursday this week. And we're back back next week, too. We're doing this four times a week. And we're really excited. Please go back and check the local authors. Um, all local authors that we had to read last week. Uh, that's fantastic. Easiest place to find them is on our YouTube channel. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe there as well. That really helps us. And we will see you back tomorrow. And uh, Representative Fiedler, if you could hang out for just a minute in the green room after the broadcast. <laughs> all right. Have a good one, everyone.